Hey guys, I'm Rachel Cruz. I'm George Camel. And this is Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Cheers, George. Cheers. Oh, delicious. Wonderful. Refreshing. Well, this is the show where two friends who happen to be money experts talk about what you're talking about. So everything from pop culture, current events, and money. And today, Rachel, in honor of Black Friday and Cyber Monday and Green Tuesday and Wacky Wednesday, we are taking a little (laughs) consumer's trip down memory lane. We recently discovered how historical the purchase history feature on Amazon is, and we are shook. I mean, all the way back to 2007 when you ordered textbooks from Amazon. Remember those days? I went to Abe Books, A-B-E.com. Any Abe Books fans out there? We went to the bookstore on campus to buy our textbooks. I'll just say that much. That's what we did. Back in my day. Back in my day, we had bookstores. It's fine. But it got us thinking how shopping has evolved over the last several years, especially since Amazon stepped in and took over our life. So we're going to talk about it. Talk all about it. And what are we sipping on today, George? Today we have a wonderful rosemary pear mocktail. So Mm -hmm. for those of you... You've been asking us. You love when we have the mocktails. This is one you're going to want to make at home. We're going to give you our rating, reveal the cost per glass, and uh, give you the recipe at the end of the episode and in the show notes. So stick around. And the rosemary gives a little, um, like, uh, holiday flair to it. So you really could make it in the holidays. And I feel like if you want to make anything kind of hipster and bougie, add rosemary. Yeah, it's great. Like, I'm sold. I'll pay an extra $2 because it's like, oh, it's a rosemary pear market. Yeah, and you're like, oh, okay. Even the name Rosemary. Rosemary. If you had another child, would you name her Rosemary? Rosemary. No. Rosemary Cruz. That's a beautiful name. Rosemary is beautiful. It's a pretty name. Yeah. Rose, I think, is pretty. Rose is a great name. Hazel. We keep going. Wow. I like that the was old, a little I, hint. I like the old names. Okay. There we go. Well, hey, per usual, we have a lot to say about the money side of this conversation, about shopping habits. We'll get to that. But first, we're going to give the people what they want. We're going to see what our <laughs> Amazon history says about us. A little, our very personal Amazon history. I'm a little nervous about it, George. I'm not going to lie. It's like someone going through your dirty laundry. I mean, I went through it for this episode, and I thought, oh, my gosh. Wait. I wasn't embarrassed, but I, w- I felt shame. I'll just say... <laughs> We spend a lot on Amazon. Well, I, I'm not going to say a lot. We just spend what we would normally get other places on Amazon. That's so, fair. So we get it. We we get a lot. Well, our, our team gave us a list of prompts to help us comb back through our records here. And we're going to boldly and bravely go where yeah. no man has gone before and share <laughs> our Amazon history publicly, at least, you know, some of the highlights, because you'd be deathly bored if you heard it all. Yes. So we're going to read them off and uh, go back and forth. Feel free to look this up for yourselves if you go to orders, and then you can sort by in all kinds of ways. So it all. It's a scrapbook of our life, Rachel. It is. Okay. I'm going to open up my app. All right. Um, George, what was your very first purchase on Amazon? Oh, boy. Mine goes to 2011. Same. Okay. Uh, wait, who, who did it first? That's the question. When was your oh, order? When was your order I in 2011? It by, and it was Winston, December 27th, 2011. I beat you, October 24th. <gasps> okay, what was yours? This is so nerdy. <laughs> No, as mine's a, got an urgency. As too. a former Apple Store employee, it was the Steve Jobs biography. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Did because... I read it? No. <laughs> but do I want to in my heart 13 yes. years later? Sure. Sure. Ours were 10 feet of speaker cables. I'm going to guess that was a Winston that's purchase. That's a Winston purchase, yeah. I don't know what it's for, auxiliary something. A speaker cable, like, was it like a live event kind of thing? I, I, genuinely, mean, I mean, 2011, we would have been, I mean, we would have been. Were you married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in our house in Franklin. Maybe we were trying to hook up something. I don't know. I, gen- I don't know. We'll have to ask Winston. Okay. Okay, so go. Okay, so in that one, go to your second. Earliest. Okay, second purchase. Oh, boy. <laughs> I went from, like, lame to lamer. What is it? I got a 16 gigabyte flash drive. <laughs> Nice. Why? I don't know. What's wrong with me? Okay, well, we, I have I have a few. There's not a lot in 2012. We only ordered like 10 things, so we weren't yeah. quite the Amazon users. But are you ready for this? This is the range. Golf balls, which is Winston. Also for Winston. Uh, all the way up to a, uh air filter replacement kit. Wow. He would change our air filters in our house. Because he were, his dad owns a heating and air company, so he knows how to re- change all the heating and air duct wow. work and all of it. So he got a—I ho- remember this. This is funny. I can't believe it was 2012. Hospital-grade 
air filter for our house, and he changed them all that year. I remember that. How sick were and you here guys? It was. <laughs> that you had hospital grade. It just sounded was he that worried. Uppity. No, it was just very nice. Okay. Well, they're twenty dollars. <laughs> they were. I don't know if they were that nice. Oh wow. <laughs> you can buy them today. Was it a mental for hospital? 20? <laughs> There we go. There my we go. one, my purchase after that was an iPhone four slim fit case. What a different time! What a different time! Okay. I wouldn't be caught dead using an iPhone four today, Rachel. Unbelievable. Okay, go to your. What's your? What was the latest one right now on Amazon for you? Okay, let's see. It may not have been from me. This may have been Whitney. So caveat. Oh, mine's all Winston. Okay, go. Oh no. What? I wish I was making this up. <gasps> what is it? It's a pet ramp. So you did not get another pet ramp. No, you didn't. I didn't get Dory, a pet ramp. Stop it. Whitney apparently <laughs> decided to buy a high density foam two tier dog stare extra wide pet ramp. I can't make this up. Oh, no, you're right. It's there. I was excited to tell you my purchase, which I I purchased even more nerdy motion sensor floodlights. Oh, we for have our those. Driveway. Those are fantastic actually. Those are fantastic. That was the one I was going to share until I found out Whitney made a purchase without my knowledge today for a pet ramp which I assume for is. is for our dog Olive who is recovering. Rachel, I'll remind you. <laughs> <laughs> from obesity. <laughs> that was the, that was the diagnosis. We spent $2,000, Rachel, at the vet for the vet to tell us she's severely overweight. <laughs> And pulled a muscle in her back. And then I had to go to the Walgreens to get a prescription for my dog for Valium. Oh, my God. George. Unbelievable. So she can't jump on and off the couch. It's a medical diagnosis. It's a... not funny. Here, we can uh, just talk about how different uh, our households are. Yeah, what's your most recent purchase? Pet ramp to a... Uh... One gallon lawn and garden pump pressure sprayer to spray plants, garden watering, and weeds. Must have been Winston. Hold on, we're, it we're, going in, we're going into uh, you know a time where we're not doing a lot of gardening. He must have some type of something. Is he preceding? Is he aerating? There's something that is going on with the yard that Winston is apparently doing. So it sounds like... It'll be here tomorrow at 10 p.m. You're throwing Winston under the bus for a lot of the Amazon spending. What was the last purchase you made as a person? Oh, that's okay. Yep, here it is. I got two back to back. All right. This is so weird. Uh, a satin pillowcase. That feels very rich. Anybody? I feel like that's a thing. Okay, that's a thing. We got a, we got some nods from the ladies and the Britney Spears doc, uh, the Britney Spears book. <laughs> Wow. It's very Rachel. Are you hoping she follows you on Twitter like she follows me? I know. I cannot <laughs> believe she follows you. I can't help it. There you are. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, wow. All right. George. Pill I feel like my face would slip off of it. I know. I haven't used it yet. I, I It's washed. It's too slippery. I don't know, but it's supposed to be good for your hair. That's what they say. Okay. So someone blogged about it, so I did it. Um, all right, George, I need to know from you. Keep going with yours because right. this is fantastic. Uh, any of your subscribe and saves? Yes, I have one item on subscribe and save. We have zero. Good for you. Yeah, we don't have any. So what's yours? So you can save, you know, I don't know, 5% if you do these subscribe and saves. And so we get Spindrift Sparkling Water. It's a four flavor variety pack. Pack of 20, and it's cheaper than if I bought it at the grocery store. Wow, the Spindrifts. Well done. And it's uh, shipped overnight at 4 a.m., some person is like, here's your, four, your 20 cans of sparkling water, you madman. With your dog and yeah. pet ramp. <laughs> wow. Throwing Olive under the bus, Rachel. She can't even fit under the bus. She's so big. <laughs> oh she's, try gosh. she's trying her best. <laughs> Sweet Olive. So that's ours. But you're not a subscribe and save person. No, we didn't. Yeah, we don't have any. Okay. Okay, a purchase you made because you were influenced. Oh, boy. It's from oh, someone wow. in the room. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Tyler forced me against my will. To buy a baby Brezza. Okay. And it's a Keurig for baby formula. <laughs> and so you add the powder on the I'm top. I'm surprised you even said the word Keurig. I know. In a positive light. Trust me, it is way nicer than a Keurig. It's more <laughs> expensive than a Keurig. And you put the formula in the top part. You have water in the back. And it instantly mixes it and heats it. Which, if you have a screaming newborn at home... That, that you get your life back <laughs> having instant formula instead of waiting seven Just minutes God to heat forbid. a bottle. You scoop, scoop, shake, feed. 
That's a lot of effort. <laughs> at 3 a.m., Rachel. I know. I did it three times, and George. I know. The, the formula's all over the counter. Uh, it's a nightmare. I welcome. And it's all sticky, and you got to clean it up. It's the, it's the way it's done, George. It's the way it's I done. I don't need to suffer anymore as a new parent. <laughs> So I'm that's just it. kidding. That's How about great. you? What was a purchase you made because of you were influenced? So I put two of these on here because I went through my history as we were prepping for this. Um, one was out of fear. Oh. And one was out of just like, because I love it. So one was influenced clothing. There's these trousers and people know them. And I have them in like literally five colors. I was actually going to wear them today for the episode. Wow. High-waisted trousers. They're like 30 bucks and they are wonderful. They're the cutest pants. I love them. Got them in four colors. So I was influenced that way. And then my fear one, if you knew me as a mom, speaking of that, I don't do choking. Choking's my thing. Like Who we does don't... choking? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you will meet friends that give their like nine month old a piece of pizza and it's like not, and they're good with it. Like food doesn't freak them out. A lot of my friends are like that. They just, food's like, their kids figure it out. Like it's, they don't cut. I don't know. I would, I would puree my kids food oh, until yeah. they were like 15 if That's I could. That's a big fear for me. Me too, George. And but it's not every parent's fear. I mean, no one wants like their kids to choke. But like a lot of parents, you ever looked in that esophagus? They don't know how big that is. Okay, well, they. I hear you. I hear you. But I'm just saying there are a lot of people. I'll also say my friend group that like, yeah, they, they they're just much more chill about. Yeah, it. Like, like it's not a fine. thing. They're like it'll it'll like yeah. We'll do the just, Heimlich. It's fine. Well, yeah, they just aren't like panicked about choking. I panic about choking. I don't like it. I don't like it. It freaks me out. So anyways, I was on Instagram and an ad came up for this thing called LifeVac. Have y'all seen I've this? I've seen this ad. Y'all, and there are Nest it's an videos. It's ad. And it literally gave me anxiety. I like literally was like, oh, I have to breathe through this. This is literally my worst for happening in front of me to someone else. I had to turn it off. And they I show Nest and I video it, footage. And I ordered it. It was like $129 and I ordered it. Life vac. I don't know if it works, but I was influenced. Hashtag of, not sponsored. Completely. And would be a weird sponsor. <laughs> completely. But open to it. Completely fear based. <laughs> and it wow. and it scared me and I bought it because out of complete terror watching these nest cameras of it was terrible. It was terrible. Thank so anyways, you for your honesty. That was it. That was mine. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's next? Purchase that you hoped your spouse wouldn't notice. Oh boy. This is a weird one, and I will not share the story, but I bought a toilet auger on Amazon. <laughs> what? What's that? Like a- The toilet got clogged. It was not from any of us. We had some friends over. Someone clogged the toilet. Okay. I paid a plumber, Rachel, his fee for coming out, right? Literally, he was there for 78 seconds. <laughs> he used this tool, and he said, I was like, all right, what's the damage? And he went, oh, I'll be 120 bucks. And I was like, you were here for th- two minutes. And so after that, I saw the tool he was using, and I found it on Amazon, and I bought it. No way. For $40. What's so it, it like called? A toilet auger. It's a giant, like, metal thing, and it goes into the toilet, and then you do, like, a twisty, and it will push everything. <gasps> yep. Okay. When the plunger won't do it. Okay. So there you go. I was like, never again will I pay a plumber $120 for something I could have done You're myself. You're going to do it. George, look at you being so handy. Uh, hey, listen, I'm an everyday Mike Rowe over here. <laughs> I'm Dirty Jobs. You know, give me my own HGTV show where I just use toilet augers to unclog people's toilets for free. You would never do that. As a generosity play. As a generosity play. (laughs) How about you? Something Uh, you Mine's probably less gross. Um, So if you can can tell, I have three earrings, and these are the hoops. Did you go to Claire's? That I I did. Yes, I did. (laughs) She went to Claire's. With my daughter's. On Mother's Day of last year to get their ears pierced. That's said, cute. And I, they were nervous. I was like, well, I'll get, I'll get another one. So I got I got another one, a third. Anyways, the hoops, I, I just debate on size or or like um, metal, all the things. So I've just bought a lot of small hoop earrings. And I just oh. did two more orders like last month. And I know Winston, if he saw him, he's like, are you buying more hoop earrings? Because I just got to get it right. So that's one that I was like, yeah, he's probably annoyed with all the hoops. Yeah. But, you know, you should be annoyed with his little pump spray for the garden. (laughs) What's going on here? It's not gardening season. I should. And he may not even be annoyed, but I thought, I buy a lot of little hoop earrings. Probably should just pick one and go. Um, Okay, so what do you think our Amazon history says about us, George? You know, mine, as I look through it, truthfully, most of it recently, you know, we're new parents. So most purchases were for the baby. Yeah. So it's easy to justify when you're buying, you know, bottles and burp cloths and blankets. So it doesn't feel like, wow, look at, I'm so 
I'm such a spender, even though you spent a lot. Like I looked at my purchase history from 2011. Yeah. We made 23 purchases that year, or I did. That's when I was single. This year, we have hit a record high of 203 purchases in 2023. Yeah. But a lot of it was returned, so yes. I'll caveat it with that. How do but you I see what that it says, total? How what you... it says about me, I think that it says I'm a good dad. <laughs> I don't know how else to read into that. Very selfless purchases. Says, I'm great. I realize how little of it was like frivolous. I've realized Amazon to yeah. me is very like boring adulting house stuff. Yes. Which is kind of beautiful in its own way. Yes, I agree. I, w- I would say uh, ours is, besides the Britney Spears new book, uh, very practical. I feel like a lot of yes. things we buy, I'm like, we actually use. It's batteries or it's, um, you know, dishwashing detergent. I don't know. It's stuff that I'm like, yeah, we actually are having to use to maintain a household. Yeah. And and it's convenient yeah. for us. Most of ours is like kid. household stuff for like little yeah. you know, repairs, renovations, yeah. dog stuff and baby stuff. Mm-hmm. I love it. That was fun, George. So I enjoyed it. You all heard from ours. We wanted to hear from yours. So we went out on all Instagram. What a generous platform. Mm. People are willing to share so much of their lives Sharing and information with us. And uh, we received a lot of confessions. And so, we're just going to react to these? Yeah. All so right, uh, so this person, their first purchase was a school book, which is very common. Normal. Uh, most recent, a squatty potty. <gasps> George. We all evolve at some point, Rachel. <laughs> Went from college student to potty training. That's amazing. That's, Listen. That's what it is. Do not, don't crap on the squatty potty, Rachel. Well, <laughs> Literally, you can. That's what it's made for. But it's a gr- it's a great. For- I encourage everyone to get one. Do you know what it is? Yeah. What is it? I don't even know. You don't have a squatty potty. Really? It's literally just a little uh, stool you put your feet up on, and it's supposed to help positioning for adults. Oh, I thought it was for children. Nope, adults. <gasps> oh, I went from potty training. Yeah. To- There's I don't science know. behind your posture while doing your business. Oh wow! That helps. All right. To have your, your I legs am ele- ignorant to all of that. I don't know. Okay. Well, I know what I'm getting Rachel for Christmas. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. This is great. A Jan Sport backpack. Classic. Yes. And most recent coffee. Again, very practical. Love it. I respect that. That is good. Here's another back uh, book for college. Most recent pack and play for baby. There it is. There's now my college talking. to baby play. Wow. What, uh, a, what a life change that Elf was. on DVD. That's funny. And then a, and toe rings for my teen. What a Our toe cool rings back. mom slash they're dad. Back. They are. Wow. We got the. Okay. They're back. Are we talking like a ring? Like a. That like, was what we did. Like Y'all, the 90s ring. are back. That, the 90s are back. But like we're putting a the ring toe ri- yes. on a toe. Yes. That was Is this the visible 90s. to others? Yeah. On yeah. flip flops and say, yes. My gosh. Middle school Rachel is so happy right now. But I didn't why? even know. Wouldn't it hurt when you like walk? Uh, Not that I remember. No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. You learning. ready for this other one? Yep. This will be our last one. Uh, a from 2010, a Canon digital camera. Remember the digital camera phase? What a great, oh, what a great time in life. Yeah. And the most recent, an Echo Dot. Are you an Echo family, or are you a, are you a non? You don't do smart. No, we devices. do smart. Uh, is Echo Alexa? Yeah. Yep, we are wow. an Echo family. Wow. And you know Charles's new thing. What's his thing? Ten times a day, Alexa, what's the weather today? That's so and precious. She says, it's sunny outside and seven, you know, whatever. We whatever. love a tiny he, meteorologist. He is a meteorologist, yep. In a queen size bed. In a queen size bed. Okay, so Amazon has over, ready for this, 310 million active users that hurts worldwide. 89% of consumers are more likely to buy products off Amazon than any other e commerce site. 66% of online consumers start. Their online search on Amazon. That's fair. I would agree with that. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Like, as much as people want to hate on Amazon because of the business practices or whatever, or like shop local and shop small. But local places are now on Amazon. That's my argument now. There's True. places that are like local shops and stuff that do, that buy, yeah. that, yeah, they use Amazon. Local sellers. Mm-hmm. But it is, you cannot beat the convenience. And I think people just gravitate in the marketplace towards what is the most convenient option and the best price. Totally, yep. And Amazon Prime uh, originally launched in 2005, which sounds crazy. Whoa. And Prime Day launched in 2015. We were still in high school when it launched. That's weird to think about. I know, which I didn't even know. So, George, coming up, there's going to be a lot of deals, right, for holidays, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, 
Um, I know I I don't have specifics that I'm taking advantage of those things, but I will go through and buy some Christmas stuff, especially toys for the kids mm. and all of that. Like I will go through and and use those days to get deals. I would. What what's your what's your take on that? My take is twofold. Number one, don't always believe that it's a deal. Just mm-hmm. because it's a lightning or what Prime Day, if you actually look at the price, which there's a website, camelcamelcamel.com. No. Related? No relation. Wow. It's with a C, but they track Amazon price history. Mm. And so you can see, is this actually a good deal or was it cheaper a week ago before any of these sales started happening? Oh, interesting. So the urgency in marketing that Amazon has to push you to buy stuff, it's not always a deal. Yeah. So that's my one thing. The other one is don't just buy stuff because it's on sale. Never spend just to save. Yep. So that's a that's just a good like if it wasn't on my list originally, I'm not just gonna like doom scroll Prime Day to see if there's any random crap. I'm like, well, that feels like a good deal on totally. USB cables. Totally. You yeah. Know? I know my favorite rule is to add to cart and then sleep on it, which Amazon's Ooh. hard to do because it's like a buy now and you're like, oh, I could have it so soon. So you really have to like and some brace of these yourself. lightning deals they've been pushing where it's yes. like you have to buy it within a certain time frame. Right. So so brace. Brace yourself, put the brakes on, and right? And do your research. Yeah, and just add to cart. And I've done this before. And then you go back like two days later, like, oh, I didn't even need that. We're good, you know? Yeah. So sleep on it, let your emotions die down. Because so much of our spending is from like adrenaline and we're excited and you kind of get that like high of like, oh, 100%. oh this is so fun. So when I, to make a shameless plug, Rachel, in my new book, Breaking yes. Free from Broke, I have a whole chapter on marketing and consumerism, and I walk through the smart spender plan, how companies go after money, how you, what you can do to kind of take control of that. And so I think those steps help people just stop and ask the right questions and not just shop impulsively and out of urgency, scarcity, fear, you know, retail yeah. therapy, all the reasons why we we doom scroll. And the yes. later you buy th- things, the worse decisions you make, I found. Later in life. Like 11 p.m. I mean, later at night. Yeah, I mean. like 11 p.m., <laughs> you're like, gosh, what did the I spend? The you get, the worse it is. The boomers need to get off of there because they're <laughs> making bad decisions. I know. So but yeah. that's a big one. Yeah, and we're entering the, the spending season. I mean, we are. There's just stuff that is constant. I know our November budget, we do an every dollar budget. And on every dollar in November, we've done our November one Gets out and December, y'all. And there's like so many extra line items that we never have. And I'm like, wow, it really is. Those are our two months we spend the most. Yep. Well, so, you can justify it because like, well, I'm buying things for other people. But then half your cart is for you. Do it. <laughs> right? Totally. That's kind of what so, happens. Yep. Yeah. So just be be wise this holiday as you're spending. Make sure you're spending your own money. And yeah, and use don't your, go into debt. Don't you don't, don't sign do up it. for the Amazon credit card to don't, save. Fi- don't fall don't for any do of that it. crap. Don't do We're it. We're watching you. We're watching you. We have your Amazon history. But we, <laughs> but spending's fun. It's part of, it's part of uh, working hard for your money, being wise with it. Once you're out of debt, you have your emergency fund. You're kind of in that like okay, yeah. You can give yourself some margin. Well, we have an Amazon enjoy. line item in our budget that's just Amazon. Mm. Do you guys do that? No, we do the opposite. It by category? No, I do it by category, which is so annoying because I have to win the Ever Dollar app. Split thing. transactions and well, that it just says Amazon, 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 Amazon. So I have to go back to our Amazon app, and then I kind of just have to guesstimate. Like, like well, this I was clothing. Quick. This was for the yeah, house. Yeah, like this. Go- mm-hmm. That's why I switched because it was too taxing for me mentally. It's a lot, but, but I feel more in control that way. Agreed. Which I'm surprised. I thought we'd be opposite in that, George. I know. But, you know, as a new dad, Rachel, it's just one less thing I got to think I about. I know. It's a lot. But You're doing great. Thank you. You're doing we're great. trying our best. You're doing so, great. So, yeah, we're, we're not here to bash Amazon. Amazon's not bad in our mind. We use it. So, yeah. I mean, we'd be hypocrites if we told you it's bad, but we have it. I actually think it's fascinating. Jeff Bezos, well done. I mean, it's... It's like Schlotsky's. It's an American <laughs> innovation. It's iconic. <laughs> okay. I'm going to totally say her name, Jill Duggar. Yeah. I read her book. And I've been talking to her on Instagram because Ooh. I know we've kind of like, she's great. She's really great. Anyways, she messaged me like last week. She said, heard you love Schlotsky's. So do I. And I said, thanks, Jill. Does that mean I she's listening so... to Smart Money Happy Hour? I know she must be. Or someone told her about I don't know. But she told what me. What is and her then, and, then she, and then she told me uh, to download the app and you actually get like a dollar. Like there's a, there's like a deal you get with the app. And I'm. and Do I need we need to, do to bring it. Jill on here to talk money hacks at Schlotzky's? Because I'm she, not above it. I just felt. Anyways, I get shamed for Schlotzky's all the time. But Jill, thank you. Cheers. She has me. Okay. So when we're talking about buying stuff. I always like to buy things that my family can use. Practical gifts. Yes. And you know, one of those, George, now that, especially since my kids are old enough, is games. 
And I love games. I love playing board games with my family. And yeah, so one of my favorites right now is Telestrations. That is one of my favorite games to play as a group. And I like anything that's analog. We're so digital now that just like being able to put our phones away and mm-hmm. just enjoy time together and laugh. And it's it's one where you can't play it without laughing hysterically. Yes, and you don't have to be a great artist, but you do draw a little picture and it's kind of like um, the old school game of telephone where you whisper a phrase and it goes around and it's a totally different phrase. You draw at the, the end. photo, they guess the it's word. The photo, yep. Someone draws a photo based on that word and it keeps going. Keeps going. And there's multiple things going at a time, which is fun. So it keeps moving, but it's not like overly competitive. You can talk. I, you know what? I realize I do hate games where you just sit there for like 30 minutes waiting for your turn again. Yeah, this, this one is you're a very all active involved. Game. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So if you guys want to check out Telestrations, make sure to buy it at Walmart. And it's a fantastic way to get the friends and family involved, especially this holiday. It's fun. Love it. So great. So great. All right, George, it's almost the end of the episode. And we close out every episode with guilty, guilty as, as charged. charged. And this is where our producer, Lindsay, gives us a new guilty as charged question every week. And if we are guilty, we have to take a sip. Already did. Lindsay? Oh, Pre guilty. You're, you're guilty already. Okay. Have you ever pretended to text someone to avoid an awkward conversation or social interaction? Oh. Wait, what does that mean? Like, like you text them what you want to say, but instead of no, saying it. No, she's saying, have you pretended to like, be on the phone? Like, you're like, oh, oh sorry, pretended. I'm busy. You know? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. Oh, you know when I do that, I realized? When? It's when, oh, this is so bad. It's <gasps> when I need to, like, get leave a situation. If I'm in a store and there's a salesperson or something, I will pretend to, like, be in a very intense text message or, like, fake a phone call. When you're checking out? No, I... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think tra- of the yeah. last time I've done this, but if I just need to not interact with anyone, like if I've I've made a mistake, I'm in the yeah. store. I don't need to be in the store. The yeah. pr- the prices are too high. Yeah, I'm embarrassed now. I will like fake the phone call, oh, fake the text, and be like I'm very busy. Smooth. I can't be in the store anymore. So I've done that to get out of a lot of situations. More less social, but more you know while out and about shopping. Okay. But if you you know I when you like see someone from be... like high school and you're like I gotta get out of here. <gasps> I'm I've the opposite. That. I run to those people because I'm like, oh my gosh. I yes. love it too, Rachel. We haven't seen each other yeah, since high school. Fun. They are trying to escape you. <laughs> <laughs> when they get their phone like, oh my God, out, there she is again. <laughs> so I got friendliest. I'm like, oh! Well, we can't all run into the cast of NSYNC <laughs> at Publix, Rachel. <gasps> I did. Chris, I saw you. I saw he you would have Publix. pretended to text to get out of that situation. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, especially I will do it if I'm in a hurry and I feel bad. Like if... I know there's people that I kind of know, but I can't. I'm like, I have to get out of here. Yeah. I will pull I'm more the phone of a phone and... call person. If you're going to fake it, go with the phone call. Oh, people who, will interrupt who talks you. on the phone these days? Well, when you do, it's an emergency. Okay. <laughs> it's like, wow, they must be going through something. They're on the phone. In a text message, I'm happy to interrupt someone while texting. It's not that urgent. But I'll p- pretend like I'm on the phone. Like what I'm about really... you, Linz? Uh, Yeah. I um sometimes this sounds awful. I feel like we're busy here. So at lunch, I sometimes want my own time for lunch. Uh, now you sit my, by yourself. No, no, don't don't say it like that. Okay, I want it. I want it that way. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'll come talk to no, you. No, no, no. But there I'm has the person been she's trying to avoid. Times where like I make it. Sometimes I am looking at my phone to make it clear. Like this is. Lindsay's I'm not looking time. to hang. I don't want like, to. Like I don't make eye contact. Wow. But if you're we're friends and you want to come say hi, I will 100% have fun. No, no, you've you. made it very clear. And I love it. No, I have to say that Abundantly disclaimer. Abundantly clear. But Don't bother just, Lindsay at lunch. Sometimes you just need a minute. Can I just yeah. say Rachel joined me for lunch today with a group and it was wonderful. That's we had a great awesome. time. That's awesome. I, I did. That. I had 12 minutes to eat my wrap. That's all like, she needed to bless us <laughs> and give us joy. <laughs> hey. That was fun. We said the high top though. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of like you're saying join It's an me. open invite. Yeah, yeah that is. Are yeah. multiple seats open? Yeah. I'm more like, an, if you see me in the corner on it, that might be yeah. your right. I you're, think that's a, Like, if you see me isolated, don't feel bad. No, I okay. don't. No, I think that's an obvious. Yeah. Yeah. You're free to join one. us when you but don't want to really be a recluse anymore. I, I don't think I do very often. I don't think I do that. I've like, never seen you at lunch in my life. I have no clue if you can eat. <laughs> I've never seen it. I eat. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not, I don't think I try to do it to avoid awkward situations. Yeah. I just feel like people bother me anyways if I'm texting, so I need something more drastic. The phone call. Yeah. The phone call is it well, for me. Well, now we know if we see you in a grocery store and you get on a phone call, you didn't want to talk to no, us. No, one, trust me. George nobody is, out. is calling me. George is out. Okay. Good if Whitney know. calls me, my own wife, I'm like, oh, crap, what happened? Versus okay. a text. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, man. Do you call Winston a lot? 
Um, no, we te- it's a te- it's usually texting throughout the day. Wow, I, th- I feel like I don't want to hear his voice. Okay, <laughs> just me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Winston's voice. It's very comforting. It, yeah, I mean, I I agree. I love it. You know, it. someone in the comments <laughs> plays a drinking game whenever I mention Winston because of no! how often I bring oh, him yeah. up. <laughs> They're like, take a shot every time George talks about Winston. George loves Winston. Winston loves you. Y'all were texting the other day. That's right. show together. Did he text me first? No. But sometimes you have to be the one to initiate, and that's okay. (laughs) That's okay. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. So great. Uh, George, I might be first. Am I? Oh, don't down it. Are you down it? Oh, my (gasps) gosh, George Camel. The question is, can you, too? Mm-mm. It's a mocktail. Relax, America. No, I know. It's just too, it's too sweet for we me. We literally just drank juice. Okay. It was so good. It was okay. really good. This was a rosemary pear mocktail. And I would give this a 8 out of 10. I'm going 9. Wow. Ooh. I thought it was delicious. I think it's really good. Really good. Mm-hmm. I think I needed it needed more punch to me, like a little more lime, a little more complexity. Uh, but, I disagree. I but, it was great. But it was really nice. Yeah. I mean, it was an 8 out of 10. It was still no, great. <laughs> We're not here to fight. So here's what's in it. Rosemary simple syrup, which I imagine is rosemary and sugar and water. Yep. That's fine. Good job. I'm Chef Boyardee out here. That's All right. fun. It also has lemon juice, pear juice, and sparkling water. Okay. So very simple. Comes out to $1.17 per glass. That's not bad. You so can make fun. a picture of this for your next party. Yeah. Add some fresh rosemary to impress your friends. Uh, and if you want the recipe, you can find that in the show notes. Give it a try during the holiday season and uh, let us know what you think of it. Tag us on Instagram with your mocktails or cocktails. A lot of people yeah. do date nights with their spouse. I and know. And y'all tag up. us. It's fun. It's so fun. Love I love it. it. Love it. All right. All right. It's closing time. Rachel, before we go, today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And to George, those that are watching on Thanksgiving, are you okay? I think it's great. I think it's great. We're happy to be your family. I'm so glad that you're here. Well, Maybe I'm, they're watching I'm, with their families. Maybe they are. I'm thankful for you, George. I'm thankful for our team here at Ramsey that put this podcast and YouTube together. I'm glad for what I have, Rachel. So, and that is not that just is a, a nod to that, your new kids' that book. That is a children's book if you'd like to check it out, too. But probably the best thing to read on Thanksgiving it is for true. the family, just not just for the kids. For what we have. But anyways, Thanksgiving's awesome. And what's even better about Thanksgiving is... Tomorrow is Black Friday for shopping, and it's getting closer to Christmas. Christmas. I love Christmas. Can't wait. So great. Well, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Make sure to leave a review so that we know how much you're loving this. We love hearing the reviews. It's so fun. So make sure to do that. Send this episode to a friend to keep the conversation going. That's how you get the get the word out about the show. We appreciate it a lot. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a new episode every Thursday of Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Hour.